Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today we're going to start implementing the JavaScript of the landing page project. So let's head to the specifications. And right here we clearly see that the first specification related to the JavaScript clearly states that your navigation should be built dynamically as an ordered list. So let's see the starter code over here. And here we see that we already have navigation built by default. And inside of it, we have an ordered list. So this is a clear indication that the project specifications want you to populate your navigation bar inside of here. So I'm going to take this ID, sorry, copy it, and start building my JavaScript. So over here, I'm going to start with creating two variables. This is going to be a global variables. First, it's going to be for the navigation. And I'm going to store my unordered list inside of it. So I'm going to say here, get element by ID. And I'm going to give it the ID of the unordered list. Then, of course, we have to have the sections that we're going to loop over them. So I'm going to say const sections document dot query selector and of course I'm going to choose query selector all because this is this is not just one element and I'm gonna say section okay perfect now let's start building the na navigation I'm gonna start by saying const I'm gonna give this nav Builder, oops. And before I forget, I'm gonna copy this. Sorry, I'm gonna paste it here like this. Perfect. So basically, all all we have to do here is we are going to start by creating. A variable I'm gonna call this nav UI and I'm gonna initiate initiate this as an empty string this is basically as a container that I'm going to store everything inside of it and then I'm gonna start by looping through all these sections for each loop say here section and let's start implementing First, let's head to the index, and over here, we clearly see that each section has its own ID that is unique to it, and its own nav data nav. So I'm going to use both of these in here. I'm going to say I want to have a cost of section ID. I'm going to give it section dot id and i want to have section dot data now perfect i'm going to give this a section dot data set dot now then i'm going to start with the navigation ui so I'm going to say navigation UI. I want to add elements. Actually, it's better if we just do it here. Say then force the links. I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to cut this, paste it here. And I want to give it class of let's say menu uh, link and of course I want it to go to the ID of the section and finally I want the text that is going to be here, want to be the data 
perfect. Now all we have to do, don't forget your semicolons, is append everything to the navigation. So I'm going to say navigation and HTML equals to the nav UI like this. Perfect. And of course, don't forget your comments because we have a specification dedicated for comments. And let's say here, append all elements to the navigation. Perfect. And let's write here two more comments. Let's say navigation logo variable. And let's say here sections logo variables. And let's add another one here. Let's say looping over all sections. Perfect. Now let's refresh. Check everything is perfect. Don't forget your semicolons, please. And let's see. Oh, here it goes. We have four navigation links dedicated for each section like this. Perfect. Now if we remember, we had here a specification that is for responsiveness. So let's just make sure that everything is okay. Let's inspect. And here we see that on smaller viewports, let's say this viewport, your navigation is actually hiding some of your header, right? And this is not responsive. So we have to fix this. So let's uh, head to the CSS. Oops, sorry. Here in the CSS. And let's see what we should do. Over here, let's go to the navigation. Right here. See that we have a display block and a batting. I want to delete those and see what's going to happen. Let's refresh. Much better, right? Then I don't like the text align. I want to change this. I want to give it this center. Perfect. And let's um, maybe we would give this padding too. Sorry. Let's give this a padding of let's say 2%, right? And let's change the display because it, this is just not working fine. And let's give it in line. What is this? Display. On this inline flex. Perfect. And maybe let's add an adding a batting. Let's say padding, I want it to be left. Let's say 2%. Perfect. Hmm. Also, let's try and give this a display of inline block. Okay, let's refresh and see. See, it's much better try to be a really small size. Perfect. It's actually working on all viewports. Okay, awesome. Thank you for watching.